dermatologists say you should use about a shot glass full of sunscreen when you go out. Ashley Porter has all kinds of ways to show the sun who's boss on the breakdown. What's the point of going to Florida if you're gonna put on sunblock? When it comes to preventing a sunburn... Where's your sunscreen today? Um, not with me. <laughs> some of us have got work to do. Would you want to buy sunscreen if maybe Channing Tatum was gonna put it on you? I don't think he's that hot. Oh, come on. But what should you look for in sunblock? Just so long as it uh, is 30 or above and, you know, A and B and cheap. Absolutely, good criteria. Do you ever look at the tiny little ingredients? Yeah, sometimes. Sure, you might need a magnifying glass to read them, but they can tell you a lot. Your skin's one of your largest organs in your body, so it's really important that we take care of it and we know what chemicals we're putting on it. Popular blogger Food Babe avoids parabens and oxybenzone, which have been called safe in some studies and sparked health concerns in others. She also stays away from fragrance, which can cause allergic reactions. This is actually made from petroleum and can be contaminated with carcinogens. Dermatologist Dr. Junko Takeshi tells her patients to also look out for retinols that are touted to be anti-aging compounds. Those generally are actually inactivated by sunlight. So it's not really helpful to have that in creams that you're using during the day. On their good lists, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide mineral-based sunscreens and broad spectrum brands. It blocks against both UVA and UVB, which are the main types of ultraviolet light that we get exposed to outside. So lather up. Ah! For The List, I'm Ashley Porter.